Um, we'll start with you, Hendo. What you think about that? For me, it's lovely. I love it. Listen, Derek Carr throwing the Chris Olave, uh, possibly Alvin Kamara when he get out of jail. <laughs> it's going. It's going to be amazing. I mean, listen, um, they they've had serviceable quarterbacks before. He is definitely an upgrade from Andy Dalton. I don't know what this means for uh, James Winston. If he's going to be the backup, they're going to cut him because I think they can save four million dollars. <laughs> I think you don't that much. They, they, but listen, they can save four million dollars, but I think they take like a twelve million dollar dead money hit. I mean, that's a lot of money for a team that's paying a lot of players that still isn't on the team anymore. Um, I, I would just keep him as insurance, maybe. I don't know, but I, I think it's a good move for Derek Carr. Um, I don't know why he didn't go to New York. Maybe they're waiting on another quarterback hmm. down down I ninety five to come up there and do some things. So, but I mean, good move, good move for the Saints, good move for Derek Carr. Chris, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a you know decent move. Uh, when you look at what's out there, uh, they don't seem to be interested in Aaron Rodgers either. So, um, and whatever headache that brings along. But um, hmm. you know, as far as the veteran quarterbacks that are you know that were available. Um, you know, he was the best one that's available. So, you know, shout out to them for getting it done. Uh, they knew they needed to strike while the iron was hot, and uh, they, they got it done. Gotcha, Jose. Yeah, I'm I'm happy for him. I'm still I'm still high on Derek uh, Derek Carr. I said I said Derek this time. You got him. You got it right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm still high on him. Man. I think he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Um, yeah, he had a down year last year, but Josh McDaniels is not a good coach, and. Ooh. Yeah, I think he, he was just in a bad situation. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure how much better the one situation is going to be their coach, but I think it's better, um, more stable. And, um, you know, you can't turn down the money. But if I was him, I probably would, would have tried to take like a one year deal and then and then hit the market again, because I think he could he could have gotten more. He had a bad year. I don't think he's going to have a bad year in New Orleans. But either way, you know, uh, he bounced back quickly and I'm happy. I'm happy for him. Who, me? Yeah, I'm happy for Derek. Uh, like I said, I think he's a he's a good quarterback. Um, he was in a, a very bad situation in in, in Las Vegas. Uh, you know, at, at landing with Dennis Allen like that that dude's a clown. Uh, but <laughs> but as of as of today, as of March sixth, uh, twenty twenty three, this kind of puts them in the driver's seat for the NFC South Division Championship. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I doubt I doubt that lasts through the off season, but congratulations on on uh, you know coming to, out of that first corner in, in first place, in New Orleans. Why, why is that, Brody? What's what's going to happen? Uh, I believe Atlanta and Carolina are both going to have new quarterbacks as well, and they'll probably be uh, more exciting than Derek Carr. Mm, okay. And, and New Orleans, outside of uh, Derek Carr and and, and your boy Chris Olave. Are and garbage. Taysom Hill and Slant Boy. <laughs> Slant Boy, is Slant, is Slant Boy even gonna play? Yeah, we don't know. They probably gonna trade him to the Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard y'all are going after Alan Lazard. Oh yeah, I didn't hear oh, that. Oh, the, the smile left real quick. Big body, what happened? huh? Yeah, he was making he was happy making a moment ago. We were speaking about milk earlier, but somebody's nipples was getting <laughs> tantalized <laughs> according to that report. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with that? Who came up with that?